Hank is a very interesting brawler inside of Brawl Stars. He used to be the strongest brawler in the entire game, but after a few devious nerfs, he became the worst. I mean, you would not want to take him in the Tribe's New Year Pickup Tournament hosted by Repeat.gg. I mean, Hank sucks, but Repeat and Tribe Gaming are so awesome. I think- Wait a second, is this an ad? Yes! Repeat specializes in online gaming tournaments, and lucky for us, Brawl Stars is their first mobile title, meaning we're better than everyone else. <laughs> so lasting the entire month of January 2024, you can compete for $10,000 in prizes. You heard me right, 10 thousand doubloons. It's really easy. All you have to do is earn points by just playing Brawl Stars. As long as the brawler you use is at least 500 trophies, you can play whichever game mode you want for however long you want. You can even play Hank. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. If you win a match, you gain points, and if you lose, you lose points. But don't worry, you'll always gain more points than you lose. It's really as easy as that. So now, how do I sign up? All you have to do is connect your Brawl Stars account to the repeat website, click the Join Tournament button on the New Year's Kickoff tab, and then you can start grinding right away. Thank you to Repeat.gg for sponsoring this video, and now, it's Hankin time. Let's first look at what exactly Hank does, because it's very unique. His main attack is a bubble which charges over 3 seconds, getting larger and larger, increasing in damage and size, popping after 6 seconds. He can also spam his bubble to deal constant small amounts of damage at close range. This sounds pretty great until you realize any stun or knockback can cancel his bubble, leaving him incredibly vulnerable. Considering nearly every brawler has some sort of ability that can do this, it leaves Hank and brawlers weak to these in a very terrible position. On top of all of this, when charging the bubble, he cannot naturally heal, meaning meaning when falling back to heal, he's very vulnerable. Since it takes 3 seconds to charge a big bubble, Hank will have taken a bunch of damage. Even if he can hit them with a big shot, in most cases it won't be enough to finish them off, resorting to him having to use a bunch of mini hits or his super which is also really bad. You might be thinking, Moyo, why can't you just sit in a bush, charge the bubble up really big, and surprise attack someone? To that, I say, I I really hope you don't become a developer because that's incredibly OP. They would never allow something like that to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> One of the best things about his attack is how it can attack through walls, countering the likes of throwers or squishier brawlers. Hank's super is similar to Spike's popping pincushions gadget or Rico's multi-ball launcher gadgets. Notice that I said it's similar to gadgets. He shoots out six torpedoes around him in a fixed pattern, dealing pretty good damage. Of course, if all six hit an enemy, it would be very devastating, but realistically at most, one will actually hit. His super barely provides any substantial value, and it doesn't help either that there's no reticle to actually tell where his super will shoot, making it like a guessing game every time you want to use it. It doesn't compare to any other epic super like Mandy or Frank's. It also doesn't help that his star powers and gadgets are like the worst ones in the entire game. Okay, okay, they're not the worst. They just have a lot of personality. <laughs> really sh personalities. Like, what is this? The next balloon blast also slows down enemies for three seconds. Who actually came up with this garbage? And Hank takes 20% less damage when near a wall. You know, this sounds pretty good on paper, but when you actually try to use it, it just does not provide any amount of value. You have to be sliding across the wall in order for it to activate, and don't even try to use his second gadget with this one. His kit is so boring. It is not fun. It is not unique. It's poopy. Poopy butt. Despite all of this, when Hank was first released, he was without a doubt OP, needing many nerfs to make him not so much of a threat. His health and attack had to be nerfed a ton. He's meant to be a tank, but you can only be so tanky before you're just a brick wall that throws increasingly large bricks at people passing by. It was also changed so that he couldn't charge a super in three hits with small attacks, instead making it scale with damage. As well as this, they made it so that he was visible when charging in a bush, and he can't heal when charging. His star power speed boost was decreased, and increased his super charge to five hits from three in max bubble. Ugh, so many nerfs and changes come completely destroyed any chance for Hank to be viable, despite many buffs in the coming months. I can just imagine the Supercell meeting room when they were nerfing him. Yeah guys, Hank is just way too strong. Should we just make him really bad? Yeah, 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 yeah. In some rare cases, he can be really strong since he has great control over the field. He can also do like really cool 360 noscopes, but that's besides the point. But if you're matched against any high DPS unit or a wall breaker or a long range brawler or an assassin, you might struggle a bit too much and just act as a free supercharge for the enemy. It's weird. He doesn't even have the tank trait like Primero Frank does, despite being built around tanking. Hank is really just not reliable in the slightest. Too many brawlers can completely counter him or outplay him. He stands zero chance as brawler 
Brawler's power creep more and more over time, making Brawlers like him fall just way behind. Just think about how many Brawlers recently released have at least one ability that can take him down easily. It is insane. I think he's very similar to Frank. No, not apples to oranges Frank, the other one. They're very similar in the regards that they both have a sort of charge to their attack, one that can be cancelled by a gust of wind. Their supers are very circumstantial, they're both tanks, despite Hank not having the tank trait, and well, come on, they both just really suck. He feels like a Brawler that could have come straight out of 2019 and was just unfortunately released at the wrong time. No slow playstyle Brawlers like him really have a place in the current meta where instead it favors faster gameplay. Take for example Mr. Bananas over here. This doesn't mean Hank won't work anywhere, he can be used circumstantially very circumstantially in Brawl or Hot Zone, it just takes a good matchup or map rotation for him to consistently get value. But even then, don't play him in Power League, your teammates will not be happy. Despite this, I think his gameplay is actually really kind of fun, ignoring all of the <coughs> death. He has a very defensive playstyle, he's completely built around being a big tank with big damage and big milkers on his hands. You have to be very strategic in how you go in or when you fall back, alongside a bunch of mind games and quick flicks to actually hit your attacks. Hank punishes bad playing by the enemy, but also punishes any type of playing by you. If you were to compare Hank with a Ryan Trahan video, it would be, I tested one star hotels, except it's not hotels, it's Hank from Brawl Stars, Hank, Hank from Brawl Stars. I don't think he'll ever be good unless he gets a very major rework. Maybe making him immune to stuns or knockbacks as a gadget or something, or a faster movement speed could work. But as for now, he'll stand as one of the worst brawlers in Brawl Stars.